loving where my Creative Edge designing and writing journey has taken me this month. It's a place that I had almost forgotten. Working on an October article, I am literally reliving my early years as an upstart florist getting into the competition world. I have been in the floristry profession for over 40 years, with my love for tropical flowers going back to the 1980s when I was actively competing in every contest that I can get into. Tropicals were my creative edge. I used them with the temperate flowers in the years when the general rule was that the two could not be mixed. Using Anthurium, Paphiopetalum, Strelitzia, Talanzia, Calathea, Flax, and Hala gave my work a clean, sleek, modern, and artistic look that garnered a lot of attention. It's fair to say that my love affair with tropicals began many years ago. In this month's article, I decided to revisit some concepts that got my competition career started. I was known many years for designing within a black frame, like art. I felt like reinventing this idea. I thought that creating structures that would show off the tropical collection best might look awesome. Back in my competition years, I experimented a lot with different non-floral materials, building structures and mechanics that would set my work apart. I think when you set your sights to stretch your creativity beyond just everyday designing, your growth as a designer increases exponentially. These are the greatest years of your designing life when you feel vital and elated with your personal accomplishments. When you're producing work that truly excites you, and yes, you can hug yourself for being so brilliant. It's okay to love your own work. In fact, when you're loving what you're creating, it always turns out gorgeous. That love shows in your work. I love building cool structures that when flowered help tell a riveting story. And in the case of this month's article, it was about the beautiful Hawaiian tropicals. I feel they are special beyond anything else found on the planet because they are grown in the nature's purest medium, the volcanic cinder with the blessing of Pele, the goddess of volcano and fire. Tropicals from Hawaii possess the spirit of an amazing diversity that only exists on this volcanic archipelago. This is a story which I wanted to share with my three designs. In this month's Tropical Creative article, the focus of each design was flowers designed for the home. Tropical Nouveau Reef. Neotropica Canvas and Pele's Paradise. I could not have been happier with the amazing tropical selection sent to me from Greenpoint Nurseries on the Big Island of Hawaii. I asked for unusual tropical foliage and lucky me, I hit the jackpot with Anthurium Vecii and Anthurium Clarinervium. They are some of my absolute faves. I feel lucky that I can show you how amazing they are. I was also thrilled to receive some beautiful Obake Anthuriums. These are very special. They're bred in Hawaii, a multicolor spathe, and look almost like a cross between the foliage and flower. Let me share with you how amazing and cool these flowers are.
To read this month's full article, please visit hitomigilliam.com slash creativeedge. You'll see multiple images of all three designs along with the accompanying article for more insight as well as a list of botanicals and supplies used to create each of the three pieces. Also, look for two upcoming tutorial videos from this month's article right here on my YouTube channel. First, a quick tutorial on how I created the Pele's Paradise Lava Vertical Mechanics, coming this Saturday, October the 3rd. Then watch for my Flower Canvas Construction Tutorial coming Monday, the October the 5th. I'll break down the construction and mechanics used to create the frame in my Neotropica Hawaii's Flower Canvas. Back again this month is a limited number of signed 8x10 prints, each hand numbered and signed. This month's print features my Neotropica Hawaii Flower Canvas. Prints are available to order today. If you enjoyed this month's article and today's video, please consider supporting the channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel for future content. And if you're interested in supporting even further, check out my newly launched Patreon page. You'll find additional in-depth Creative Edge content, as well as exciting new features like monthly virtual workshops, meetups, and exclusive discounts, and much more.